Today I'm going to give you an introduction into the MTA Mosaic software. Uh, this is our main splash screen when you actually open the software uh, from your desktop and uh, we're going to initially create a new project. Now in this section here you can see all the MTA albums that are available so going through the Tudor range, the Contempos, Easy Albums, Madrid, Saras etc. I'm going to select Madrid 10x10 10 10, 15 page album and over here to the right there's a photograph just to confirm um, which album it is. But we also down here list the price so the product price, the album prints, what it would cost and for the prints only if you just want to select the prints. So I've checked uh, the album uh, that you wish just press new. We now need to give it a name because it will save it so we're going to call this test1 and uh, we hit the create button. So we're now into the main area of the program uh, and the first thing we need to do is to bring in our images. Now in preparation for this what I've done is I've taken the images, I've put them in a folder, I've put them on my desktop and I've called them uh, mosaic pictures but as long as you know where the images are and you've got them logged in a single folder you will be fine. I go to the plus mark up here, uh, press plus, go to my desktop and come down to mosaic test images and press select. So I'm just there just navigating to my images. Now I've just simply got a selection of images um, and we're going to go about loading the album up now. So because this is a Madrid album, the Madrid album has a small uh, image on the front cover we can see uh, there's the image there waiting to be filled. We highlight the box which makes it active uh, and we then go over and we drag an image into the box and it immediately uh, fills the box. What we can then do is just along the top here you have all the blank pages that you can use for your album. So if we click on there we've now got page one and two uh, so opposite pages in the album uh, and what we can see down at the bottom here under page styles is lots of different styles of templates. Uh, now there's, uh, there's different uh, layouts available. I'm simply going to pick one and drag it onto the page. Um, now this layout contains three images. There's the main image that will go into the background and there's an image here at the front and an image here at the front on the left and the right pages. So to progress I'm just going to highlight uh, the back image and I'm going to drag an image into there and then I'm going to highlight the front left image and I'm going to drag an image into there. Okay. Now for this particular picture this image is probably in the wrong, the, 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 the wrong place and we probably don't need this additional box so I'm going to highlight that and just press my delete key which gets rid of that. I'm going to take this image on the left and then move it up to the right and as I'm um, positioning and holding down the actual key uh, a grid uh, comes up to help me position it correctly and as soon as I go off of that um, the image is, is, is there ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a border around this image to make sure that it's uh, much clearer. So I go over to the menu here, I click border, I, in fact I highlight the image, then I click border and you can see that I can increase and decrease the size of the border. border. I'm going to give it a yellow border, that's that there. One thing you will notice is these little uh, science here because I'm using some low quality images for this uh, for speed uh, effectively the program is able to look at the overall size it needs to be printed at and it will tell you if the images if the file size is not great enough to uh, to do the job so we go to the next page double click at the top again uh, pick a template that you would like to use uh, scroll down your images uh, highlight the back image, bring in the image like so, 
and highlight the front image uh, and bring in the image like so. Uh, what you can do with the back image is once you've highlighted it you can reduce the opacity so you can come up here we can take that down this image here once again we can add a border so we'll turn that up to a border and what we can also do is we can put a drop shadow on it which you can see here and the angle of the drop shadow can be moved around wherever you would like it to be you can have uh, different levels of blur you can have different colours you can expand how big and small the drop shadow is and you can reduce and increase the opacity we're now going to uh, just take simply a blank page and, and make up our own template so I've got a double page spread here it's page 5 and 6 which you can clearly see at the top uh, and I'm basically just going to drag in uh, an image onto the left hand page it sits there as quite a small image but if I right click on it go down to fit I can either fit it to the page or to the spread uh, picture box or and so on. I'm going to hit to fit the spread. Now the image is in completely the wrong position so I just double click and I can reset set that so that uh, the image is uh, correctly positioned. So that's my dual page spread sorted out. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the opacity. I'm just taking that down a little bit. What I'm going to do is um, rather than bring an image in and try and resize it, I'm going to make a picture box. So up here, I bring the picture box in, and bring it down to this, this left hand corner, I can more or less set it to the proportions of the image that I'm bringing in. And bring that in. What we're going to do now is start to investigate some of the other areas of the program. Um, so the first thing we'll do is go to the top, give ourselves a, a blank canvas to work on. And if you come down to the bottom here we've got the page styles which are the templates that we've uh, mentioned before. We have uh, masks, backgrounds, frames and scrapbook. Um, so in terms of uh, the backgrounds are all pre-populated so you can literally just drag one onto a page like so. Uh, and once you've got your background in place, uh, you can add photo boxes. So open up a picture box like so. And then you can scroll through to find uh, a suitable image to drop on the page. Double click if it's not correctly positioned. And of course, you can reposition as before using the grid uh, if necessary. Over to the, um, the right hand side here, on the top right of the program we've got uh, various menus to look at. Um, so we can, uh, in terms of the shape, we can change the shape of uh, the image in the uh, active box. And change how many sides it's got. We can change the angle where it goes around. We're now going to uh, go back up to the top menu here um, and click on the next area. Uh, this is going to give us an opportunity to do some sort of image manipulation. We're going to drag a image into place, right click, fit across the spread. Uh, straight away the image is in the wrong place, double click it and reposition it to get the position that we want. Once that's actually done, if you go up to the top right, uh, we have the facility here to, to flip the image. So if you want to reverse it, you can do. Uh, in terms of colour, you can either stay with the original colour, you can go to black and white. Or you can go to CP. 
you can adjust your brightness you can adjust your contrast uh, you also get to add a vignette uh, in terms of the shape you can go from square or you can go for an oval or a circle you can increase the size you can increase how sharp the vignette is you can change the colour of the vignette and you can reduce the opacity of the vignette so that it's more noticeable, not so noticeable um, on the next menu up here on the top right we have text uh, so w the way we would do this is we would go over to the left here to the little adder text box uh, once we've got the text box we can reshape shape and size that and uh, if we double click inside the text box uh, it brings up the um, editor tool so I'll take the size up to 36 and we'll just uh, put the words boat in there in terms of the writing let's go for uh, white writing now I think we need to highlight that and then press white right in and then press OK um, in terms of that you can move it around wherever you wish you can go up to the top right here and you can center it in the text box in the middle or at the bottom or at the top and if you want to reposition it a little bit you can move the margins around and if you were doing more if you're doing more text you could use line spacing as well Okay, we will now go to a fresh double page spread. Uh, I'm going to miss out this uh, ruler here for the moment. Um, that is to do with XY coordinates. It's a little bit more complicated and elaborate and we'll need to take care of that in a separate uh, tutorial. But if you go to the, uh, the end one, it is as simple as you can change the colour of the left or the right hand page. So if I go to the left hand page, say I want it to be blue. I go to the right hand page, so I want it to be black. Uh, that then allows me to come here and bring in a, an image box resize it to whatever size I want it to be and um, bring an image in double click reposition and that's done if I then decide that it's an not an appropriate colour change it uh, on, on the fly so to speak, reposition it, go to my right page, let's take that to magenta, let's uh, create a photo box, just move it across, now let's find a, an image to go in there, Double click it. And there you have it. So that is your introduction to uh, Mosaic. Thank you.